Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've come back to a church I was only at last year, I'm afraid, but it's a church I didn't really explore properly. I was doing a video about dowsing. I thought I found this sort of dowsing energy current from uh, West Byfleet. And uh, one of the churches we came across was Wisley Church. Dedication now lost, we don't know who it was dedicated to, but Wisley Church, uh, just north of the A3 very much near Wisley Gardens, nearby, uh, which I've never been to, I'm not really a garden person, except if it's my own garden. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just come over here and have a quick look at the beautiful church here. As you can see, absolutely glorious. The weather is finally, finally warming up. It's been a really crap summer so far, weather-wise. Um, we get a little bit of hot weather in April, May. June was crap, and now it's starting to warm up again, which is which is cool. But yeah, lovely little church here, Wisley Church. Yeah, last time I was here, I've been fascinated by this stone here that's gone down in sort of myth and lore. Um, was it part of an old stone circle? Because it shouldn't really be here. I made the mistake in the last video, and I really should know better than calling it a sarsen. It's not a sarsen stone at all. Um, but what is it doing here in the graveyard? What is it doing here? Um, are we part of an ancient site, which a lot of these old churches are. They're on pre-Christian sites. So that could have been an ancient sacred, sacred site, for all we know. This present building is from the 12th century, the 12th century, and a beautiful porch. Look at those chevrons. Some old frescoes up there, if you can see. Lovely. Is it 12th century, this church? with ties to the Black Prince from the 1340s, which is quite interesting. Obviously, it's been different configurations, and that's why it's in the back. Though. Wow. It's better to look after it and keep it sort of... That's a, yes. That's amazing. You know, like going to the wall, they, the older people would have been standing next to the wall and then they would, until the pews were put in. Because these look quite modern, don't they, these ones? Well, because that's when we had the, the plagues and, uh, from... Oh, of course, records lost, records lost, 1454. Yes, and, and all the, um, the, the ones that are very close together and changed over because it's when they died. This is a black prince, so it's associated with the black prince, isn't it? Yes. I'm going to go over to Pyford. Pry Perford. Perford. Perford <laughs> Church afterwards. Lovely frescoes. Well, that's how I first came to join this um, boat that was found when they were dredging the river way. Mm -hmm. oh, I wasn't aware of that. Yes. I think you'll find that in the Wadebridge Muse Museum. Which I must visit at some point. I yes. haven't visited. Mm. All I know is by word or mouth. So um, I haven't been there, but that's what oh, I'm Oh, yeah, that's definitely on, on the diary, I think. Oh, that was nice chatting to Jackie. Thank you, Jackie, if you ever see this video. All about the church. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I didn't know about that Neolithic um, boat dredged from the way. I did not know that. Interesting about here, it's a very sparse um, churchyard. There's not actually that many graves. Unless... Hmm, yeah, it's not that much. As we were saying to Jackie, it'd be interesting if we could take some of the whitewash of all the walls in the churches and see how much um, frescoes and wall paintings are behind them. I know it's a big job, but it would be absolutely stunning to see them, wouldn't it? Wow. Lovely. A 
Okay, what we're going to do now, Dunwisley Church, it was open like it was last time. No dowsing on this video, no dowsing. I'm going to head back down to Pi Pri Perford. It's called Perford. I was calling it Pyford. It's Perford pronounced Perford. Um, so I'm going to head down to Perford. Look at the church there, which we have been to before. It's a beautiful church, one of the best preserved Norman churches in the country. And um, take it from there. Let's go. So back in Perford at St Nicholas Church, built around 1150, another 12th century church, which I was here back in September 2022 and um, wanted to come back, have another proper look. It's all about the frescoes today in the churches. I've been speaking to a nice couple just now who came here looking for an old vicar who's passed away, but a vicar's grave, they found his name and found the, the, uh, the grave as well. So they are very pleased, which is wonderful. This church is one of the, as I said earlier, one of the best preserved Norman churches in the country. Not much has been altered over the years. And I said in the last video, I'll link all these below in the description box, that um, Perford was also mentioned in uh, H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds novel. We're very much near Horsfall Common, where the discs arrived in the original novel. novel. Yeah, it's lovely. What's interesting about Perford, and the Perford, Perford Stone, which I'll show you later, this is the site of probably a pre-Christian or even going back to Neolithic site. We're up on a little hill here and they do reckon that there was an ancient site here back in the day. Um, the churchyard extends over to the across the road which we might have a look at as well. But yeah, this is a very very ancient 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 site. little mural uh, and artwork showing the history. Yeah, Perfect Church is Norman and was founded around 1150. Yeah, Norman chevrons on the arch there. Okay, let's go inside. As I walked in, <clears throat> whoa! But here we are. A lot of the frescoes here in the 1200s. Yeah, here. And the big one here. I'm sorry, the lights were on last time. I don't know where the light switch is. lovely portrait came into his 15th century and it has got I see organs up there yeah. a little bit of a fresco on the back the reins of and there is yep yeah. it's a Nicholas Guy book forgot to bring out any money again um, I think I have this anyway from when I was here last but yeah, nice little guidebook. Yeah, so there's a real connection between the Wisley Church and here at Perford. The thing, all through the other videos, going to Pyford. No one said a word, but it's actually Perford apparently. 
Um, very, it's got to, I have to admit, it's very heavy in here, very heavy. Um, going back to what I was saying about it's on an ancient site, could there be an energy current coming through? Because it is, I haven't got my dowsing rods with me, but it's really heavy. Like the church at uh, Albury, who we went back to recently, that was that was a very heavy atmosphere. When I say heavy, I'm not talking evil and all that nonsense, I'm just talking it's a heavy atmosphere. Oh, lovely. Jacobean pulpit from 1628, 1628. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Oh, they're the consecration crosses. That's why they didn't replaster them. Ah. And do you know about the other ones? No. The Black Prince. Oh, now what's the connection with the Black, Black Prince? Well, he, because there's a pub over Newell, it's just called the Black Prince, which is a... But I've been to. Where, have you? Yeah. Oh, well, they were supposed to have meet, but you come with his sabre, I suppose. What, that is from the Black Prince? Yeah. It's been traced and... and wow. Yeah. That's incredible. And another one over... Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. So we think that... The, that's what he, 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 well, as far as everyone can tell, he made those when he came So in. there's always a little bit of speculation, I suppose. Have you it? read the mural, though, in the porch? Uh, yes, I have, yes, yeah. Because that's... Another lovely chat with the groundsman here, one of the volunteers, pointing out all these little things I was looking for and I didn't know where they were. So yeah, we have got some speculation whether these are actually done by the Black Prince himself. It was so funny, he said they would, he'd go to the pub nearby, or the inn, as it would have probably been back then, then come here to pray, the Black Prince and his cohorts, and then go off to war and kill people. <laughs> Crazy. Isn't that amazing? I was about to really cool people today. Yeah, so thank you, St Nicholas Church. As I say, I reckon this is a very, very ancient site. I've still got a very heavy head here, especially around this section here, just by the door. Um, yeah, right here. Whew. Yeah, might be an earth energy current, as I say. Could be spirit. I don't know, but they're these beautiful wall paintings. Just saying to the gentleman, you know, as I said to the Jackie in the other, in Wisley Church, how much would it cost to just get rid of all the whitewash and really see if there's some of these magnificent wall paintings yet to be discovered behind the church walls. Yeah. Alright, let's pop outside. I wasn't going mad. The gentleman did say to me that, oh, the lights haven't come on because they're about to upgrade to LED. He said the light should still go on when you walk in, but they didn't. Yeah, he's telling me about this beautiful piece of artwork, as I said to you earlier, depicting the whole history of the eight centuries of this church being here. And of course, we're very near Newark Priory, which you can't get to, it's on private land. It's a beautiful 15th century Tudor porch. Interestingly, I said to the uh, gentleman I was talking to, who's been lived here pretty much all his life, and I said, um, so how is it pronounced? The lady over at Wisley said it's Purford. I said, I was calling it Pyreford. He said, it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. You know, I said on previous videos, people get so upset if you pronounce their town or village wrong. He said, it's fine. Purford seems to sound probably natural, but um, yeah. So there you go. Pronounce it how you will. Let's just have a quick look over at the um, extended churchyard um, by the main road. Okay. Yeah, much bigger churchyard. Lovely. 
bit windy up here because we're up on a on a hill. Just pop up the road and I'll show you the uh, Perford, Pyford, Perford, go figure, uh, Perford stone, the ancient prehistoric stone. There you go, the famous Perford stone with lots of traffic going through. It used to be in the road, but when they widened the road, they had to move it over here. This is prehistoric. The boundary stone dates from before the Norman conquest and is pos possibly a prehistoric standing stone. Situated in this corner from time immemorial, it was moved to its present position during road working. Black donated in 1976. So it will be part of an ancient site. Was there a stone circle here? We don't know. I mean, it's a very small stone. I don't know what it's made of. It's not... I don't think it's sarsen. There's no sarsen in the area. But, um, yeah. Anyway, on that note, and now I'm going to have lunch at the Anchor, which I was at last year when I did the way navigation. And um, on this beautiful day, I'm intrigued to know if this is an ancient, ancient site though, I really am. A lovely pub lunch in the Anchor. I was only here last year. Brilliant. I hope you enjoy the video from Wisley Church and St Nicholas at Perford. Two churches connected. Was there an ancient site around these areas? I think there was. I think it probably needs further investigation. I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Uh, please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. And uh, I'm going to go back to finishing my dinner. Thanks very much. See you next time.